And I like to back them through the middle of that turn because the further from the cow you can get, the slower it is. The, the closer you are to the cow, the faster the cow is going to go. So if you can create some space with that cow, usually that cow is going to slow down on the cows we cut nowadays. See there, she stopped better. It's okay if this cow travels a little bit. I don't mind that. And I can pull them back and go through there, just like that. I don't take them across. I just bring them to the middle and back them. And then it just softens everything up. And soft, and like when I knock that hip out and back them through that turn, what happens is when they stop next time, they kind of, when they stop and draw, they kind of draw through the middle of the turn rather than straight because not all horses can stop and draw straight. Um, not all of them have physical ability to do that. So if you can make it a little easier for them, they, uh, they feel comfortable and confident and they think, they're, they think they're doing what them other horses are doing, but they're just, uh, I'm gonna work a show horse now just so you can see maybe the difference in the three-year-olds and show horses, which there really isn't. I don't work them much different. Um, I kind of do the same same preparation. See how he walked and draw through the middle of that turn. If he's wanting to turn a little bit fast this one way, I'm gonna turn him around, even though that cow went. Then I'm gonna go. Like one thing when I drive off, when that cow goes, I like that horse to come. When you pull them around there, are you worried about what foot goes where? You, you just want some softness. I just want some softness and let, you know, where they pick that front end up and move across there. I'm not worried about what foot goes where or this or that. But to me, if from, if from their withers back 